think your PC is safe? Well, you may just be one bad update or blue screen error away from losing everything. Today, I'll show you how to back up and restore your Windows 10 operating system using built-in tools. No extra software and no tech degree required. So let's get to it. First up, let's walk through the backup process in Windows 10 by creating a Windows system image. I'll also point out that the process to backup Windows 11 is very similar to this walkthrough. Plug in your external storage drive that you'll be saving the backup image to. Next, we'll click on the Start menu and then Settings. Now click Update and Security. Slide over and click Files Backup. Now click Go to Backup and Restore. Here we'll click Create System Image. Select your external storage disk and click Next. Click Start Backup. Windows will now build your system image backup. This part of the process may take a while, so be patient. I think this backup took about 20 minutes, so not too bad. I'll speed up this part of the video for us. But again, be patient with the backup. Okay, now that our system image backup is complete, let's look at a scenario where you'd want to restore your backup. There are many different reasons you may want to restore a backup and many different ways to go about a restore. In this example, I'll delete all of these files from our desktop and then restore from the system image we made. You can restore just files from a backup or you can restore the full image in the event that your OS gets corrupted. Okay, now that I've deleted some files, let's walk through a system image restore. There are several ways you can start a backup restore, but here's one that you can use if your computer is still functional. Click on Start and then the power icon. Hold down the Shift key and click Restart. Next, we'll click Troubleshoot. Then Advanced Options. You may have to click see more options before you can click system image recovery. Select your user and enter your password if needed. Here you can select your desired restore image. Click Next. Click Next. It'll warn you that your current data will be overwritten with the backup image. We want to continue with the restore. Again, be patient as the restore process can take a bit of time. Once your restore is complete, you'll restart your computer. If your restore was successful, you should see your files, applications, and settings, just as you let them in your initial backup. And that's it. Now you know how to fully backup and restore your Windows 10 computer. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helps you recover from a computer issue in the future. If so, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.